Welcome to the garage. This is basically some f photographs of the uh, hydraulic bike. It's not quite finished yet. Still got a bit to do to it. Um, but we're going there slowly. We're walking around it slightly so you can see a little bit more. Um, we're not trying to get things original. But what we are trying to do is achieve something different. Um, this is basically an hydraulic engine. Uh, it's got no camshafts, no push rods, no rocker arms. Uh, the, the hydraulic systems work in the valve gear, does the timing. That's the most important bit is the timing. Hydraulics works really, really well, obviously, but it's the timing that is um, the important thing on a four stroke engine. We've done as much as we can to this engine. Uh, it does run, as you've seen. Um, as if you look at it from this side, it's still got the mag on it. All the, all the gear is inside the timing cover. Um, I've made it all myself. Um, it's quite unique really, but anyway, that's beside the point. We are going there slowly. I am going to ride this bike sometime during the summer. How far it'll go, uh, you know, that's a different matter. I don't think it'll run for long because I didn't actually build this engine for a running motor. Um, I didn't think it would run, uh, not properly, but it does run. It's still not right, but we're going there. Um, I'm going to remove your tank in a second and show you where the valve gear is, basically. Um, but I'm not telling you any sort of secrets. Um, but yeah, this is where we're going to at the moment. And one day, I hope to, uh, as you'll see on one of the other programs we're going to do, uh, we're building a a, a spine chassis bike hopefully using an hydraulic engine and it'd be nice to get around Isle of Man but that'll be another story but uh, anyway I shall show you basically the valve gear I'm gonna have to excuse my filming we'll take the tank off just so you can see excuse me Apologise for that. As you can see, the hydraulic pipes. Uh, the unfortunate bit at the minute, because obviously I don't know what I'm doing, I have to bleed this engine to get the hydraulics to work each time. I use the push rod tunnel as a reservoir. Um, obviously there's no push rods in there and that plate what you see on the top is a clamp because when I was running the engine first time as you'd notice the pipes was uh, hydraulic off <laughs> and um, it, it's quite strong actually a lot stronger than you would think and that's basically the lid that fits on it but I can't run that lid at the moment because I'm trying to design some bleed valves. Um, you'll see some little nuts just there. And uh, I have to bleed every time I want to run the engine. I have to bleed it because to be quite honest, my machining isn't that good. And I have to use plastic seals which uh, don't run long, but that's beside the point. The whole idea of this engine was to prove my idea would work. And it does, <laughs> which is quite a, quite a feat, which I'm proud on. Um, and there we have it, basically. I've been into motorbikes quite a few years. We've been racing for a long time. Um, these Gold Star engines, 
basically that's where I'm into gold stars. I can't go into hotels, it's there's just too much time involved. Um and I'll just show you a few photos at some of the old lads. There's Steph up there, there's Rob Gawley up there, the master. I did build that bike for Rob years ago. Uh and Bob since died. Um, got killed on a road accident. There's John Loder there. Unfortunately, he's, he died on a bad accident. A couple of photos of me with uh, Andy Mulner and Dave Sells. Um, Stuart, who sponsored me to first time I went to the Manx in 85. And then we're going on a couple of more photos. I've got grandkids. And there's a nice photo there. Uh, a lad called Terry Coville. Um, Terry's now retired from racing, and, and we use Terry's bikes for the Classic Club Championships, and uh, we tend to do quite well there. We've done the 500 and 350 this year, um, which is brilliant. And then there's me again, and a lad called Torben Nielsen, who also rode my bike. Um, that's me number one at Brands Hatch with a lad called Mark Woods and Steph Viachorek. Um but yeah we've had some really good fun with racing but basically this programme's basically about this bike so anyway we'll talk to you again thanks for watching and uh, I'm sorry about my filming <laughs> but there we are